Welcome! In front of me I have Amazfit GTS 4 Mini and I'm gonna show you how to measure the blood oxygen levels on this watch. Before we start, if you want to get the most accurate results of your measurements, make sure to put your watch uh, on your wrist, somewhere about two fingers away from your palm, basically. Secure it tightly so it doesn't move around. And while you're measuring your heart rate, try not to move too much. So let me secure the watch. Give me a couple seconds. Okay. Once you secure the watch on your hand, tightly so it doesn't move around, around two fingers away from your palm. You can wake up the screen on your watch by pressing the side button and after you wake up the screen you can press the side button again to open the menu. And in the menu you should see the blood oxygen uh, icon. You can tap on it to open the blood oxygen widget and by default you will see the message right here on the screen that you need to position the watch correctly, secure it tightly on your watch and you can tap on the check mark to start the measurement. But I already did that, so this message won't appear for me. Basically, we can tap on this button right here to start the measurement. Oh, we have this message right here. Okay, so it tells us what to do, and then we can tap on the check mark. And now let's try to not move too much and wait for the results. And here we have our results. Uh, you have also the graph for the whole day, so you can check uh, your progression or your oxygen levels through the whole day. And you can also measure again by tapping on this button right here. If you, if you swipe down or rather up on the screen to scroll down, you can tap on view in the mobile app. So if your watch is paired with a phone, you can basically jump to the app to check your blood oxygen levels or you can tap on settings. And here we can enable or disable the auto blood oxygen levels measurement. If you enable it, uh, your watch will uh, measure the blood oxygen levels automatically when you're not moving, basically when you're resting. Uh, but be aware if you enable this option, battery life on your watch will be reduced uh, significantly. So be aware of that. Okay, you can also set the low uh, blood uh, O2 level alert. So if, you, if um, for example, your blood oxygen level uh, reaches some threshold and below, it will alert you that it's low and you should do something like, for example, maybe contact the doctor or something like that. Okay, and let's disable this and then press the side button to go back to watch face. So once you're done, you can press the side button to go back to watch face. And that's how you measure the blood oxygen levels on this watch. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please consider subscribing to our channel and leaving the like on the video.